Elijah told them, grab the Baal prophets, don't let one get away. Elijah had them taken down to the brook Kishon, and they massacred the light. I know somewhere in the depiction, somebody's worshiping. You'd notice that they're dancing, no fire. They're, they're singing and blowing horns, no fire. Screaming down, seemingly heaven, no fire. And, um, Elijah comes up and begins to make fun of them for what they're doing and how they're doing it. One of the God that they claim to serve is, is Baal asleep. Um, he, he must be a God, so he must be busy. Is he in meditation, it said? Is he on a phone call? Did he, did he run out to, to go to the store, or check his Facebook, and forgot to um, turn the active status off? He was on the phone, and you're walking right around talking to him, and he has you on pocket dial. It's a difficult space when you find yourself praising God and getting no answer from God. And Elijah says, look at how you're worshiping. If I was God, I wouldn't answer to the way that you're worshiping. Why don't you scream louder? Why don't you knock harder? Why don't, why don't you hang up and call again back to back until they answer the phone? I'm talking to somebody today who believes that they've been doing it the right way and still getting the wrong answers. You, you would be praying and fasting and uh, praising, going to church, all that you can do and still find yourself prey to the incident of evidence that God is not answering you. I think it's difficult, it's complicated when you are betraying a life of being blessed by the one who blesses you with the best and you've not seen the fulfillment of what you're testifying to. Your testament is not a testimony of what's to come. We're not talking about self-fulfilling prophecy. We're talking about you lying now where you can't even see it. People connected to you, close to you, dance the same way. We all connected going to church and nobody gets the breakthrough. And out of pride, mm -hmm. we don't back down become something that is more about me than it is about God, where I just post because it's popular, but when they take away the popularity from religion, do you still have religion or do you cling to whatever is clouting for popular? I'm talking about you being sold out selective to the idea of worship, not the performance of worship. Elijah said, that's it. I've had enough. I've seen enough show. I've watched enough parade. I have heard enough sound. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for me to show you how worship is really done. And this is something I think we can still learn from on today is that worship is not in a particular noise or music that's made. It's, 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 not, it's not in the way you dance or jump around in the sanctuary or in the auditorium. It's, it's, it's not going to be how you can pontificate or form your words, how you can manipulate your sentence or your speech to make it sound a certain way. Worship is in the truth of where you are. Elijah said, God, I, I need you to hear what I'm saying. Not, not the music I'm playing, not the way my feet are dancing. I need you to hear, hear what I'm saying. And when you come to a place where you can be honest with God and say, God, I know I don't dress all the way right. I know I don't sing all that good. I know I don't dance like the rest of them, but I've just come to give you, give you my truth that I'm not everywhere I need to be. I, I don't do everything I'm supposed to do. I haven't always been right, nor have I always been here, but I come on today so you can show up anyway and show everybody connected to me that you are you are God through identity. I need you to show up. And what does Elijah say? He says, show up, show yourself, still strong. That's what he said. Still God. That's what he said. Still mighty. Let me tell you something on today. When, when you can identify, testify through the reality that I've lived it. And so I know God to still show up today. I, I know him to still show he is the one and only God. I, I know him to be more than God of the situation, of the circumstance. That he'll show up 
in spite of in spite of the situation or the circumstance i can't hear nobody gotta show up anyway elijah made it hard for him and he showed up elijah made it complicated for him and he showed up it was it was easy for Baal. Baal didn't come he made it he made it complicated for god but god showed up i'm I'm talking about it don't, it don't matter the situation that you're in. It, it, it don't matter what them people have gave up on you. It, it don't matter what they say, what they put on the door. It don't, it don't matter what they try and get you down, discourage you about, tell you that it won't come to pass. It don't matter how hard they make it. Your, your God will still show up. I'm I'm talking about what they said. You won't recover from this. I'm, I'm talking about where they said it would take you out. You have four to ten weeks left and you're still going past two, three, six years. I'm talking about where, where the report came back all the way bad. The child wasn't even supposed to make it. It wasn't even supposed to come full term, but you had it anyway. And God is still showing up where, where, where people would say the job wasn't yours, that the economy won't bounce back for you, that bankruptcy would be the end of you and and your family, where they said divorce was in your future, can I prophesy to you on today, not on what's to come, but the reality of where God was. He's been there. He, he's been there in hard situations. He's been there in tough places. He's been there in manipulating by other people places. God has, God has been there. And when you, when you can say like me, I know God has been there. Then anywhere he'll be on today, yesterday, and tomorrow, God shows up in an unlikely place and does an unlikely thing because of unusual grace. I'm, I mean, God, God is going to make it come to pass full circle. It's, it may seem wet, bleak, dim right now. It, you may have waters of life all around you, stone all over you, broken wood on everything that is your dreams. That people would say that this is this this is impossible for anybody. You you couldn't dig yourself out of a ditch this big. You couldn't come back from that. Ain't no bouncing back from that kind of jail time with that kind of a record. They ain't never seen it done, but watch God show up anyways. He'll show up and prove everybody I'm still God. It, it won't be no bragging rights for you. It's going to be rights to the privilege to say I serve the living God. When God shows up, he don't just show up. I light a little fire. No, no, God. I said, I, I got to do it bigger than that. I've I've, I've got to show up where it consumes everything close to it that, that, that I know that it shows up and he shows out because he shows up, shows out, and it turned the whole show out that everybody connected who saw it in depiction said, I know this to be the one and only God, that they turned, they converted, it said, but there was one prophet, there was one person, there was one team that didn't want to follow after the will of God. And it says he took them, says don't let none of them go. Not a one of them. Um, not a one, not, not, not half of them. Don't, don't, don't let none of them get all of them, tie them up and bring them, bring them to the river. I'm, I'm talking about God making everybody that doubted you see you, that, that everybody who was connected to talk down on the demise of you will see you walk into it, will see you walk through it, that you, you'll walk across the stage regardless of if they believe it or not. They're going to have to sit there and watch it. You, you're going to get your diploma and your degree, that, that job you've been praying for. God says he has a promotion in store that they're going to have to see what their doubt wanted to put you down. I says he going to make it so they'll have to stand right around and see you, see you walk in it, see you walk through it, see you come out of it, see you still grow in it, see you still be married, see you still not, not die in it. That everything that they said wouldn't come to pass. God says, I formed it in conception. I'll mold it, I'll mold it through the reception. Let's get ready, get ready for the fire on today. That the way that you serve him, mm -hmm. it's going to light up everything around you that was dark, that, that was dim, that, that was heavy, that was overburdened. Elijah said, Ahab, what the sky look like? It ain't, ain't a cloud in the sky, Elijah. That don't, that don't seem right. It don't, it don't seem like 
there shouldn't be a cloud in the sky when God just sent down fire. Why, why is it dry still after God then showed up and revealed that, that my worship was pure and ain't no rain come? Because after you get the blessing, yes, you, you, you can't just live on that one blessing. You, 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 you got to develop in the overflow that the rain is on the way. He, he, he was consumed with the fire. And so he had to go down to the river and take care of a problem. And after he took care of the problem, he said, there should be rain. I'm, I'm talking about you done put your best foot forward. You done put on everything that you can to try and get it. You, you've been putting forth best effort all the way around. You, you are overachieving in it and still don't see no rain. God told me to tell somebody on tonight, don't you give up. Don't, don't you stop hoping. Don't, don't you stop believing there's rain on the way. I, I know it looks bad. I, I know it looked like you won't bounce back and they won't come back. I know it looks dead. But God said, you got to prophesy, prophesy to the friends, rain is coming. See, there's people connected to you that God cannot bless you yet because they don't believe. See, they have to see it before God can allow them to say it. But you have to say it while they can't see it. And God will make it rain. He, he'll make it rain on not just you, on everybody, everybody connected to you. Everybody who done you wrong, who talked about you bad, may want to reconsider in this season and be connected because the rain is about to come. Now, they're going to be around to see it, but my God, if they get it, you have to be connected to get this overflow. You have to be connected to be getting uh, wet from this rain. You have to be connected. Watch this now. He says, go to the river and look in it seven times if you have to. I'm going to say seven, seven times, but he did it. The first time, no rain. The second time, no rain, up until the seventh time. And I know this may be days, it may be hours, it may be minutes, but for Elijah, it didn't matter. It had to be seven times. Seven is the number of completion. When you complete everything that is according to the call, the purpose, the plan, God says, because you've completed, it don't matter what state the economy is in, I'm still going to rain on you. It don't matter what they give up on you or doubt you. This would be how you end. It's that you'll never go past here. You'd never grow up in it. You'd never go to it, never have it, never achieve it, never behold it. It says, well, they stopped you. God said, he's going to unpause you and that everything that you are supposed to come to, it said, will overcloud you. He says, I see a cloud, but it's not as big as the man's hand coming out of the river that we just drowned. I what God's about to bless you with is going to be beyond what everything your enemy said God couldn't use to work in your favor. It's, it's going to be small, the avenue God comes through, but watch and see how big the blessing is. It never said the cloud grew. I can't hear nobody. It said that the cloud was as big as the man's hand that was in the river. Oh, my God. God will use little things, and he made it rain all over all over the land, so much so he had to tighten up his robe, had to run in front of the chariot. Ahab is in the chariot pulled by a horse. Elijah said, I know my blessing is so connected to me that every place my feet step after me is going to be rain. I, see, you, you, you have to go before the chariot in this season. You, you can't wait until you see everything to run after you. You have to let some stuff catch you as you, as, as you run through it, as you run to it, as you run for it. Know that on today. God says, I'm going to make it happen anyway. It's, it's, it's going to rain in a dry place. Rain's coming. It's, it's going to flood in a damp place. Rain's coming. It's, it's going to happen through a small space. Rain's coming. You, you better testify that over yourself. God, it don't matter what it look like out there. It can be dry. It can be not a cloud in the sky. I know my rain is coming. My, my, my season is about to approach. It don't matter what the government say. Don't matter what the president say. Don't matter what they would do in China. I know, I know my rain is coming. It's about to rain on my head and anybody that's connected to me is getting ready for the overflow. The overflow of God is still, is still God. He's still alive, still strong, and still mighty. I believe that on today. I believe that on today.